Hi, boys and girls. Today we're gonna start a new lesson that's not in math. We're actually gonna go back to our benchmark or ELA lessons. So this is usually what we do before recess. Okay, I know it's been quite some time since we've been in school, but I want you to try to remember what we were learning about before you went home. I'll give you a hint, it's right there. Hmm, what were we learning about? We were learning about the weather and the seasons. Whoa, whoa, weather and, that's a sight word, seasons. Remember, we had a big chart and we were talking about all the weather. We know the weather could be sunny, could be rainy, it could be cloudy, could be partly cloudy with part sun and part cloud. It could be stormy or snowy or have a lightning or even see a rainbow, okay? And we were also talking about the seasons. Let's sing our song. We haven't sang it in a while. I hope you're singing your morning song though every day because I put a PowerPoint on there that you could practice at home with our morning songs. Let's sing our season song, ready? Let's see how many there are. The four seasons, the four seasons of the year, of the year. Winter and spring, summer and fall, seasons come, seasons go. We know that there are four seasons, right? Winter, spring, summer, and fall. Okay, we were studying all about our big idea, ding. How do our lives change with the seasons? We are talking about how the clothes we wear change, how the activities that we do change, right? And we'll talk about that a little bit more. But I want you to look at the bottom here. I see four pictures and these are of our four seasons, okay? Look at this picture here with the snowman. What season do you think this is? It's winter, and it's winter because we see snow, right? We see the boy and the girl, and they're wearing a beanie and a big snow jacket to keep them warm, and they built a snowman, right? You see snow on the trees, and it usually snows in the winter time. Even though it doesn't snow where we live, it does snow in other places. Let's take a look <clears throat> at this picture here. What season do you think that is? Winter, spring, summer, or fall? I want you to look really hard. Look at the trees. I see pink flowers. Hmm. We know that flowers bloom or they spring up in the spring. Good. And I also am looking at the boys and girls in this picture, um, and I see that, oh, maybe it's a mom and dad too. They're wearing short sleeve shirts. The boys are wearing some shorts. The mom's wearing pants. The weather looks nice and sunny. They're out at a park outside. Let's look at this picture here of the boy and girl running at the beach. And down here, this is a picture of the temperature. What season do you think that is? Winter, spring, summer, or fall? It's summer. And we know it's, or we're guessing it's summer because when you go to the beach, usually you go when the weather's really hot, right? And it's sunny. And you could see the boys, in, that the boys wearing a short sleeve shirt, the girls wearing a tank top, and that's because it's warm, right? And they're playing in the water. If you look at the temperature, it's almost all the way up to the top. That means it's hot, right? So the season is summer. Okay, last picture, look over here. What season do you think it is? Winter, spring, summer, or fall? Take a good look at the leaves. I see the leaves must have fallen off the trees. If you said fall, you are right. The season is fall. Look at the boys and the girl, the boy, the boy, the girl, and the dad. They're wearing beanies, right? It's a little bit cooler and chillier in the fall. Sometimes it's rainy, sometimes it's cloudy, and they're wearing long sleeve shirts. So you can see there's different activities you do in different seasons. That's how our lives can change. You can build a snowman, right? Play in the snow, go sledding, go snowboarding or skiing. In the spring, it's nice and sunny. It's a great time to have a picnic, right? In the summer, 
There's usually summer vacation, which means no school. You get to go to the beach, hang out with friends. It gets really hot. Sometimes you'll go swimming. And in the fall, that's around October, the leaves start to fall, right? We see pumpkins start to come up. We celebrate special holidays in the fall. The leaves are falling. You can play in the aisle of leaves, right? The leaves are changing color on the trees too. Great job. Okay, that was just a little review. Today, we're gonna read a story together. And before we read the story, I wanna go over some important vocabulary words. So, the vocabulary words that we are going to be seeing in our story, the first one is weather forecaster. And a weather forecaster is somebody that tells you what the weather's like. So sometimes you'll see, it could be a boy or it could be a girl, and they're on TV and they look like this and they're telling you what the weather is like. So they say Friday, the weather's going to be partly cloudy. Saturday, it's going to be raining. Sunday, it's going to be sunny. So that's what a weather forecaster is. That's their job to forecast or to tell you the weather. The next word we're going to see in our story is the word float. Sometimes when I think of float, I think of something floating on water, like floating in a pool or an ice cube that's floating on the water, okay? But in the story, they're talking about something that floats down. So if I had a feather, which I don't, but if I did have a feather and I dropped it, the feather wouldn't just fall straight to the ground really fast. It would kind of float down, right? Okay. All right, so today's story, oops, getting a little bit ahead of ourselves. The today's story is right here. I'm gonna try to make it a little bit bigger. Hopefully I don't disappear. Okay, today's story is titled, One Snowy Day by Brenda Parks. Brenda Parks is the author. The author is the person that wrote the book. Illustrated by Alexander C. I can't see what his last name is. All right, Alexandra, Alexandra C. Illustrated means they illustrated the pictures or they drew the illustrations. So they're the person that did the pictures. Okay, here's our title, One Snowy Day. Title is the name of the story. I want you to take a look at the front cover. What do you see on the front cover? Don't just tell me one thing, make it spicy. Tell me some more things. On the front cover, I see a girl and she's wearing a beanie and a snow jacket and mittens and a scarf. And she looks like she could be sitting on some sort of a sled. And I also see a dog and a dog that's wearing socks and mittens, or, or that could be shoes. Shoes and a scarf? That's not real. And I also see a snowman, and snowman has a scarf, and I'm looking at the weather, and the weather looks like it's snowing, okay? So that's what I saw on the front page. Maybe you see a little bit more, too. Okay, let's get into our story. This is the title page, One Snowy Day. Remember, the title page tells us the title again. By Brenda Parks, illustrated by Alexandra Colombo. All right. I don't know what that is. Dad looked at the sky. It looks like snow, he said. Better get ready. Mom looked at the sky. It looks like snow, she said. Better get ready. Hmm, so what are they doing? They're getting ready for the snow, right? How are they getting ready? What's dad doing over here? Looks like maybe he's packing some groceries because when it snows, it's kind of hard to drive outside. So maybe he's packing some groceries. Mom looks like she's putting what on? A scarf and you see all this snow gear, right? Mittens, beanies and snow boots. 
The children looked at the sky. It looks like snow, they said. Better get ready. It looks like snow, said the weather forecaster. Better get ready. Hmm, what, is, what are the children doing and what is this lady with her pets doing? They're all getting ready for the snow, right? The kids are grabbing their gear to go outside and play. She grabbed a snowboard. She's getting her sled put together. Um, the boys are getting ready. And this lady over here, she's just watching on TV, right? Maybe she plans on staying inside for the snow. Early that night, the first tiny snowflakes began to fall. All through the night, bigger and bigger snowflakes floated down. So they're going like this. And if you look, the boy and his dog are looking through the window, right? They're watching the snow fall down to the ground. They're probably so excited because they want to play. When the children woke, the sidewalks, cars, houses, and trees were covered in a carpet of snow. Not a real carpet. They just mean that the snow's covering the ground so it looks like a white carpet. There's no school today, said Dad. Let's go have a fun snow day. Hmm, what do you see outside? I see a lot of what color? White, and that's because there's snow everywhere, right? There's snow on the roof, snow on the ground, snow on the bushes, snow on the car, snow even on the birdhouse. Oh, is that bird wearing sunglasses? That's silly. <laughs> right, snow everywhere. And there's no school today because if you live somewhere where it snows, sometimes there's so much snow, you can't even drive your car. There's snow for blowing. So dad is using his tool to blow the snow to clear a pathway to walk. Snow for throwing. You see the kids throwing the snow at each other like a snowball fight maybe. Snow for shaking. So if you lay down on the snow and you flap your arms like this, like this boy is, and you open and close your legs, you make a snow angel on the ground. So they're shaking the snow away. Snow for making. What is she making? A snowman. Is she making the snowman on his head? Under his head? I don't know. Snow for sliding. So they're sliding on their um, sleds, right? Or their snowboards. And snow for riding. And they're all riding down the hill, right? They're riding on their sled. Even the dog is riding. We all love a snowy day, especially when we get to play. Ooh, I saw some rhyming words, day and play. And look how much fun they're having. If you look at their faces, how do they feel? They feel happy, right? They're smiling. If you look at these kids, they look a little bit scared. <laughs> they might be going fast down the sled, right? Excellent job. Okay, we're gonna go over to the PowerPoint that I made. We're gonna fill it out together about one snowy day. So let's describe key details of the story. We know that this is a bubble map, right? Oh, I'm sorry, a circle map. This is a circle map. And we're gonna fill it in. So in the middle, we have one snowy day. So that's our big idea. Let's figure out some details of the story. Okay, when I think about the story, usually this is when I get answers from you, but I can't hear you, you can hear me. When I think about the story, the first thing I thought was snow, right? Snow, let's figure out how to spell snow. S, S, N, O, O. Snow. Now that's not spelled how you really spell snow, but that's great job phonetically spelling. You're listening to the words and you're trying your best, right? Snow. Hmm, what else did I think of? Who was in the story? 
Oh, there were kids, right? Let's write kids. K, k, k. K, k, I, I, I. I, k, I, z, z, d, 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 d. D, kids, kids. Z, it's actually an S, but that's okay. Kids. Good job. And I'm going to draw a little snowflake here to help you. Snow and then kids. And I'm going to do one more so it doesn't take up too much time. Usually we fill this out with a lot, but it's kind of taking a little bit longer. And let's see. Hmm, I can look at the front cover because I'm going to use something in here. What else do you see? What are they doing? They're building a snowman, right? They're playing. So I'm going to write the word play. P, p, p. P, p, p. 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 L. Play. A. You might have said A. Good. Play. You actually spell play with a Y, but we were listening and we tried our best. Play. Great job. Okay, we're going to go to the next slide. We're going to talk about the characters on this side. So remember, characters are the people or the animals in the story. So who was this character? You remember? It was mom. What about him? Dad. Ooh, who's that? Dog. Hmm, this one's tricky. This guy was on the TV and he was telling you about the weather. Do you remember that special vocabulary word we learned? Weather forecaster. Good. And who are all these people? The kids, right? Or the children. Very nice. Let's look over on this side. We're going to talk about the setting of the story. The setting is where the story happened or when. What time it is or what time of the year it was. So let's look at this first picture. Hmm, where is this story happening? Where is this part of the story happening? In a house, right, or a home. Good, what about this part of the story? Where is that happening? That doesn't look like it's in the house, right? They're outside, they could be on a yard outside, right, or a field outside that's covered in snow. And I know they're outside because I see the sky and I can see trees and bushes. And trees and bushes don't grow inside your house, right? That would be silly. All right. Let's think about when the story happened. What time of the year or what season do you think the story happened in? Let's look at the picture. What season? Winter, spring, summer, or fall? When does it snow? Winter. Very good. All right. Last thing we're going to talk about for the story is the sequence of events. You guys remember when we used to go like that? Sequence of events. First, middle, last. Very good. So in this box here, we're going to put first in this one here. Middle, last one, last. Let's think about what happened first in the story. Oh, and this is a flow map. All right, what happened first? Hmm, what were all the people doing? People are getting ready for the snow. What happened in the middle of the story? Snowflakes began to fall. What happened last? The children played in the snow, right? And they didn't have any school because they were snowed in. They had a snow day, right? All right. Good job, boys and girls. Thank you for watching and following along. Tomorrow we're going to have another lesson. It's not going to be on the story, but we will have another lesson on phonics and sight words, okay? All right. I miss you so much. Thank you for watching and working hard, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.